We are officially in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. Already exhausted. What? Time to get naked. Where did you where did where did you get that apple? He literally just pulled it off the tree. <gasps> it, but Chernobyl. Alrighty. Yeah. Привет! The puddle. Okay guys, so we're in Kiev again. I wonder why. What are we yes, doing are now? We, I don't know. We're I wonder going what we're on doing. A school trip. Yeah, we're going on a school trip and it's about radioactive isotopes in their natural habitat of Chernobyl. Yes, we are doing Chernobyl. Take two. Uh, this is oh, man. Be more fun. Yeah, this is interesting. So Misha, our lovely guide, unfortunately not in the, well, he's here. But he stepped on a nail, so he's out of commission for any form of walking, especially to Chernobyl. So guys, hey guys, so. But Anton is in Greece, so he's not, there's nothing he can do as well. So basically, we're here, we got the gear, we've been briefed on the route. Guys, we're gonna try, I can't guarantee we're gonna get there without a guide. I mean, look, this is a pretty ambitious thing we're doing, I'd say, considering he's only been once. We've all been to the zone, but like never to creep yet. We're all packed. We're just gonna go and get us some food. After that, we're gonna get in the stalker taxi and we're gonna get heading to the zone. So I'm excited. What about you? Anxious. He's anxious. Michelle. I'm good. She said she's good, so let's get some food. I can record you too. I can record you too. All right guys, so we had some food. We're just waiting now on the taxi. Well, the stalker taxi, it's not a normal taxi. Uh, he's gonna bring us to the drop-off point. From the drop-off point, we're gonna go straight to the river, which hopefully is only what, about five or six kilometers we're thinking, right? Gonna be really interesting. I mean, the fact that we're, none of us are obviously guides. We're, you know, we have minimal experience in the zone. Obviously, I am a little nervous just because of the fact that we don't have someone like Misha or Anton to like uh, assist us. My friend gave me a heads up, like sent me a message yesterday and people graffitied a lot of shit in the zone. Yes, yeah, some vandals as well. That's not in our favor. No, it's not in our favor, but unfortunately there is going to be higher probably activity because of that. We just have to be extra careful. I mean, it's, it's really that simple. Wait on the taxi guy and then get on a move. Uh, this time it looks like we've actually got room. Right, yeah. Better than last time. Dude, last time we were like super squished back here. Yeah, it was remember pretty that? squished. I remember and that. Like, oh, and I was holding my bag. Automobile. Tractor. Лодка с мотором, все есть, я не за что не плачу налоги. Покупаю за 20 долларов на год. <laughs> Whose water fell out? There you go, Michelle. Okay. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Spasiba. See you soon. <laughs> okay. This way. All right, guys. So been walking now for probably a half hour, maybe, not even. Our plan right now is to follow this route that we have planned, and it's going to kind of intercept this river that we have to cross, we have to swim it. Um, it's like waist deep. Checkmate's done it uh, a long time ago when he went back to Shine and Don, but uh, we're gonna have to swim that. So that's really just the goal right now is getting across that river uh, unseen. We're just gonna keep pushing towards that, and we're gonna follow this path right now. What would you say these things are like? Logger pass? Probably. Yeah. Hmm. A little further up this way. A little bit. Mosquitoes are horrible. 
They're freaking huge. Almost to the river, guys. Again. Let's say half a mile. Or uh, for those of you who are not American, probably about a kilometer or so. Get rid of these mosquitoes because they are nasty. We do have bug spray, but holy crap. <laughs> probably put about half a can of that on there and they're still coming. Here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd say just keep going through there. You okay? Oh wow. This is something else in the summer. Yeah. Don't do this in the summer, guys. Go on like my like spring or fall weather's much better. It's the amount of mosquitoes like I can see on his backpack right now. And we got bug spray. We got a lot of bug spray on. Everything's overgrown to crap. Uneven terrain. Michelle fell down again. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit! Me, I didn't. I fell on you. <laughs> Everybody push. Checkmate. <sighs> but yet, almost there. Almost there. Yes. Okay, guys. That was at least a kilometer. That temperature is like 30 Celsius. That's like 90 Fahrenheit. That was horrible. Let's just get to the river. That's all I'm thinking about right now. This is a road. Yeah. We are officially in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. We just passed it. We'll be already exhausted. Yeah, I thought the river was gonna be a lot closer, but look at the amount of turns and terrain we have to go over. The distance isn't really any much more. It's just the time it's taken a lot more. So we're almost there, guys. Heading this way. Oh boy. Yes. Here it is, guys. I've heard certain tips that there's potential ambushes. So we must be very careful. Parallel it for a little bit. And then we can cross. It's like I'm at the beach. Time to get naked. Are we <laughs> I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> Hello, Privet. I am your guide today. All right, basically the idea with this, guys, is to just not get everything wet. What sucks, though, is it is sand, which is normally excellent, you know, when you're at the beach. But trust me, when you're trying to stay as comfortable as you can doing this, it is a pain. Oh, you bun! Yeah, just an average day at the Chernobyl beach. Oh my gosh, okay, I think I just put an isotope in my toe. Yeah boy, found the changing rooms at least. I know it sucks, but you know what? It's all for the goal. Let's do it. What about onions? Yes. Oh yeah. You know, I think we'll do what you guys did where we just go in, first get wet. So you're not like in shell shock. I swear this has to be the freaking river they used to cool the, the reactors with. Here we go. Every guy's fun time. <laughs> Wait until your it hits your landing gear. No, I'm already used oh. to No, that's no joke. We have to cross soon. It's exposed. Yeah, of course. And then we're going to get our stuff and we got to put it like above our heads. Try not to trip. And we're going to try to bring it over there and get up. Okay! Chernobyl blood! Oh, suka! Okay, I can't. That's as far as I go. I'll support the back. Just, yep. Yeah. Thank you. Let me help Michelle. You good? Yeah, I think my phone got wet, so I might be broken. Ready? One, two, three. Got it. Good. Okay. You guys ever know when you like touch? You're like at a beach, and then your foot brushes up against like a seashell or a seaweed, and you just freak out. Yeah, I just did that here, but. The difference is I'm in Chernobyl, and it's probably like a monster or something. <laughs> this definitely is not connected to the reactor water, right? Guys? <laughs> I don't know. One, two, three. One, two. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Somewhere a little bit to clean up or dry off, should I say? Protein bars help. What's that? Proteína. Proteína. 
It's taking us about like 30 minutes just to dry off because we're lazy. Having a quick snack, having some water in them. Yeah, hey, we're gonna keep moving. I just looked at the map. We've done like an eighth of the distance. It's nothing. Easier to just to fly like this. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So started the long march again. We're um crossing this kind of like semi-open field, but over there, it's kind of hard to see with the shrub in the way. But there's like this collapsed building or this collapsed. I'm not really sure what it is. We don't want to go too close to it. We don't know anything about it. So see how far we can get for the night. I'll tell you what though, that bath felt nice. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> so this was one of the old bridges that they used to. Is this the bridge you were talking about crossing? Yeah. yeah. I guess, I guess a while ago they used to have a road. <laughs> and this way. Passing a local village right now. One of the villages that were affected by Chernobyl. They've just been sitting here ever since. Lucky for us, we get to go straight through these trees. Yippee. He's like no camera. Where did you where did where did you get that apple? Dude, I wish I recorded him just pulling it off the What in the Chernobyl exclusion zone? He literally just pulled it off the tree. I thought it was, was, was it good? Was but, it sweet? but Chernobyl. Right now we're following the road that used to connect these old villages together. We're traversing through it once we kind of get to the end of it. We got to go through a little bit of forest, it looks like. And then from the forest, we're going to go intercept these power lines from what we have been told, a very common route. Um, so you got to be vigilant, but hopefully that's going to mean it's a lot less easier terrain because that power line should take us the majority of the way to Pripyat. So that's kind of why we want to do this. Yeah, it's going to be speaking to us. There's going to be a lot of mosquitoes. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. Yeah, so it's gonna be crap. We'll see. I could get more, a group of 20 fat stalkers just to walk through a line, in a line here, just to make a trail. Just to plow all the trail through. Wait, did you get that on camera? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty normal. I mean, my house is 0.18, so it's pretty good. It's actually below what my house is right now, the radiation. Got about, about two miles of this. It's kind of like a stalker trail, which is just basically a path that stalkers have taken grass and the the shrubs and all the obstacles are kind of more flat hopefully we should intercept a you know logger route uh and that road is gonna hopefully get us to the power lines which is where we're gonna spend the majority of our time on the road to Pripyat. so and yeah welcome to the jungle that is some nasty ass water I do not want to go in there the hard part is here yeah. These like floodgates for something? Oh, that's nasty. It's like a swamp, yo. Either side of this is swamp, mm -hmm. which is disgusting. <gasps> I would protest against eating anything in this exclusion zone, but it's your funeral at the end of the day. And there we go. <laughs> you have life insurance? <gasps> it's good! You want some pepper? <laughs> He's stopping for more berries, guys. Oh boy. Yeah, boy. They smell nice as heck. And if I was anywhere else in the world, and I literally mean anywhere else in the world, I would eat it. I offered you in Switzerland. Because I couldn't tell what those are. Those are clearly raspberries. You were eating like some weird bush that had like a red bulb at the end of it. Some of those poison berries. But that. 
Welcome to the jungle. Ah, oh, that's more moist than my face. And being attacked by mosquitoes. You know, this is a crap ton better than the swamp. And it's funny because like, when you're in the swamp, you feel like, oh, it's garbage. You got the bugs, you got everything. Um, and then you got this where it's like, I'd say the only thing better is you're on more level ground, but you still got the bugs, you still got everything else, but yet it feels so much nicer. <laughs> I don't know. It's good to enjoy it while it lasts. Is it all right? Yeah, the road then forks off again to the northeast, if that makes sense. And then it intercepts the power line. So, I run on the route now. It's probably about, I'd say two miles to the power line. So all the sand here was used because uh, back in early 2020, a lot of you probably know that there was unfortunately a forest fire. Recently, what they've done uh, to prevent the spread of forest fires if there was another outbreak is they put down sand. If there was fire coming from that end, it doesn't let it go to that end or tries to reduce the amount that will. But the sun's starting to set. It's about a mile and a half to the power lines. Checkmate and I both agree that the best thing to do is really try to cross the road at night. The only thing is, we are very tired, so we're gonna see how far it is and if we feel like we can make it, but yeah. There's barely any light in the sky left, guys, but there are the power lines right here. So once we come out of this, we are on the highway to Pripyat. Yo, it's been a crazy first day. But we've been doing good, guys. We've been pushing it the best thing to do here it is wow it's huge you can actually hear the electricity flowing through it as you can tell I'm, i am exhausted as well as everyone else here i got yeah. checkmate there michelle there anyway we're both absolutely exhausted we've um we've gotten to the power lines we've crossed the road we're about what do you say about a kilometer after the road Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I'd say about a yeah, about a kilometer and we're basically just right now sleeping in a bush. <laughs> it's I, it's kind of hard to show but like there's a tree there. You want me to turn my light on? No, 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 it's fine. But um yeah, so we're, we're just going to basically set up camp here for the night. It's about 11 o'clock and we entered it around 4. Done about probably just under half the distance we need to go and we're going to have some food, set up camp and then get a really good night's sleep or try to at least. So let's get that set up. E equals the. I also got salt and pepper. Having some meat with raisin and barberry. Hmm. Just having some food right now. Hmm. It's really good. You can try to sleep a decent amount. I think you didn't put enough water in mine. Well, mine, mine came out like mashed potatoes. <laughs> Mine's kind of like mashed potatoes as well. <coughs> Damn, bro, you good? <laughs> yeah, chili. Uh, all right, guys. I don't know what I wanted to say, but I am very tired. So is everybody else. We've had our food. We have ourselves tucked away, and it's like uh, half past twelve at night. So get some sleep. We got an alarm set for about ten o'clock, and then yeah, keep pushing to Pripyat. It's good. We're about halfway. We're gonna get some sleep. Say good night. <laughs> I am swimming aside. Good night. Hey, dobre noche.